I opened one of these last night, and I go, wow, what is this kind of funky? Mm -hmm. And I opened a new one, and I put it through the aerator. And man, it turned into this complex, deep, rich cap. So I'm suggesting, if you watch the video, to put a little air on this one. Mm -hmm. See, this, this one's corked, actually. Mm -hmm. Isn't it corked? Well, I don't know. It's starting to blow off, but man, you get some dense oh, licorice. Yeah, that's what I was. I got this really funky thing, and then it, it changed when I. Boy, oh boy, this wine. This is really something. I mean, it's just it's just turning into something completely different every time you swirl it. And this is a ten, so. Mm. Wow. That's pretty dense wine. There it is. Mm -hmm. There are the flavors that you're looking for. Yeah, and this it's guy. It's funny how the nose throws you off. Yeah, but it, well, it's, it's still evolving, but wow, you know, $20, oh, wow. $29 on the shelf, fifteen ninety nine reorder price, and wow, this is really an interesting Cabernet. I mean, it's got a lot of stuffing going on there, and it just keeps going. Look at the legs in there. Paso, oh, that's why. Paso Robles, yeah. So I'm as soon doing, as I taste like it, it must be Paso. I'm doing a 95 on this, too. I'm doing a 95 because I just, I like the wine. I'm just a little, the nose is a little deceptive, and that happened the other night. But the second bottle was like unbelievable, so I'm wondering if there's a little bottle variation again. Well, no, I wouldn't worry about that. Anyway, it's a great wine.